Hey guys, welcome back to React.js Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Tutorial Series. In previous video, we have created add employee form and we have stored form data in first name, last name, and email ID properties. And we, have, we are able to get the data from these properties while form submission. Okay. So look at here, I just entered first name, last name, email ID and when I click on save button, I can able to get a form data in save employee method. Okay. Now what we will do, we will make a REST API call and we send a employee data to the REST API and REST API will store this data in a MySQL database. We have already created and exposed add employee rest api in one of the previous video so we are going to call create employee rest api and we will send this data to the rest api all right guys so in order to do that first we need to create a rest client using axios http library go to the employee service dot js file and we have already created a get employee method which will call all employee rest api okay now similarly let's go ahead and let's create a one more method over here like create employee and just pass employee object as a method argument and then return agios dot post so we are going to call post method here because this is the form submission so once we submit the form we have to send form data to the rest api through post http method and then rest api will handle a form data at the server side and it will store the form data in a database all right let's pass a base url over here after that we need to pass a form data that is employee that's it next go to the create employee component okay so go to the save employee method inside this method we are going to call employee service and then call create employee and pass employee object so axios uh, post method returns promise so let's go ahead and let's call then method and then response and inside this then method what we'll do we'll navigate to the employees list page so once we submit a form data successfully then we should navigate to the employees list page right for that here what we'll do we'll just call this dot props dot history let's get a history object from the route We're using props so we got a success response from the rest api we should navigate to the employees list page okay great let us save all the files create component create employee component as well as employee service and then let's go back to the browser and let us see how it works yeah here we go just refresh one more time and let's add data to the form first name as Ramesh last name as furthere email id as Ramesh at the gmail.com hit save button yeah here we go so we have successfully added a new employee to the employees list all right guys what we have done we have created create employee method inside employee service so this will make a rest api call and inside a create employee component we have used employee service and its method called create employee and we just pass the employee object to this method and after the success response of the rest api we just navigated to the employees list page it's a pretty simple right great in next video we'll create few rest apis like get employee by id rest api and update employee rest api and then after that we'll 
uh, create a react components to consume the rest apis all right guys thanks for watching i will see you in the next video